We're going to stomp our feet, a little pitter-patter of the feet on the ground. Not too loud if you've got a baby Hannah sleeping upstairs. <laughs> Wiggle yourself in your seats. Actually, get comfortable on the back of the seat if you like. We're going to now breathe in through the nose, down to the belly, and out through the nose. In and out. In and out. Now, as we keep breathing in and out together, I want us to imagine that we're all in a circle together as one. It's not a circle where we're linking hands today. It's not a circle where we're linking arms. We're just going to recognize that every mystic here, past, future, and present, we are all here together as one, all supporting each other, all keeping each other safe and all as the most beautiful, amazing, energetic lifeline there ever has been. So we breathe in together as one, we can feel that love and out as one. In as one and out as one. Now, as we keep breathing in and out, we're gonna go on a little adventure, maybe more than you bargained for here tonight. You're gonna to imagine that you're sitting in your chair and your chair is slipping into the water. I know this may be a little bit fearful. This may be a little bit trigger-based. Remember, you've got everybody here to keep you safe. This is a lifeline. You are perfectly safe and okay. And you're gonna slip down below the surface, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper still. So you can still see the surface. Actually, you can still see the sun gleaming up above. You're perfectly safe. But it's extra still, super quiet. And surprisingly, you're at peace. Great peace. Deep peace. The most amazing peace here under the surface of the water. In fact, when I was a kid, I used to jump off of a bridge and swim down about 20 feet and just sit there and meditate. I didn't know what I was doing, but it was beneath the thermocline and there things were still. The river wasn't moving. There was pure silence. I could look up out of the inky stillness and see the sun way, way up above. I was at peace. And you are now too. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go on this one little playtime adventure together. I want you to imagine one thing, small, big, picayune, it doesn't matter. One thing, small or large, that worries you in your life. It doesn't have to be the biggest thing right now. And what I want you to imagine is this thing is outside of the water, it's up above, and suddenly, boop, somehow this thing has been put into a violet bubble. Hannah Bear says bubble because she liked playing with her or mubble. She likes playing with the bubbles now. So we put it in a mubble. <laughs> and this mubble has our fear in it and starts to sink into the water up above us and sink down deeper, deeper still, till it's about halfway below the surface of the water to where we are. But we can see in that mubble up there, this purple mubble, we can see our fear. Can you see your fear? What would I like you to do? Well, first, turns out you can breathe underwater and you can breathe underwater quite well. So I want you to forget about the mubble for a minute and I want you to take a nice deep breath in Hold it there in your lungs for a second and release. An even deeper breath. Hold it and release. One more time, an even deeper breath. Hold it and release. Now that we're in this beautiful, centered, loving space, I want you to look at your mobile. Look at it from all angles. In fact, you can get out of your chair. You can swim up to it. You can swim around it. 
You can swim above it and you can look down at it. You can swim directly beneath it and look up at it. You can even poke it a little bit. The bubble won't break. It's okay. You can poke it a little bit and see what's there. But I want you to study it for a minute. You can even ask questions about it if you'd like. But I want you to look at this one little floating violet mubble of fear with everything you've got and just spend one minute being with it. We're going to go quiet for a minute, but one last request. As you're studying it, don't forget to breathe. All right. Breathe in. Don't forget, breathe in and out. Now, of course, later you can come back to this. You can do this as long as you'd like, but a minute is a good starting time. Feel a little bit better a little bit lighter. If you're ready, we could even let this fear go. You see, unbeknownst to you, you've been carrying a giant baby diaper safety pin with you. It's clipped right to your shorts or right to your pants. Don't worry, you don't have diapers on, but you got it there. And here under the water, you can unclip it and if you're ready, you can swim up to your fear, fear that you've been studying, fear that maybe you've even been loving up with your breath. You can pull out that safety pin and you can go to that violet mubble. <laughs> and you can say, I release you now. I release you once and for always. I release you out of love. Take out that safety pin. Boop. Pop the bubble and watch it disappear. Breathe in with a super deep giant breath, maybe hand on your heart and out. Maybe you see it disappearing up, up, up out of the water and disappearing completely gone. Maybe it just disappeared before your eyes. But keep breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. You did it. You leaned into a fear. You studied the fear, you swam beneath the fear, you breathed into the fear. In a sense, you loved up the fear, you studied it from all angles, and then you pulled out your giant safety pin into that mobile and that fear. You let it go. And as you come back now to the surface, so proud, so happy, that energy flowing, that energy going, and much more in a state of love, know what you just did. Be proud of yourself. Be energized. Be exciting. You just let this thing go. And as you come into the sun, you can repeat after me. How does it get any better than this? How does it get any better? better than this. Woohoo! <laughs>